literally considering this right now. So we'll move... Um, Golden Shield here, and then a Healing Staff onto here. Okay. Cool, let's keep going. So now we have to backtrack. Therefore, Old Faithful will come in. We do backtrack, right? Yeah, this bit's completely empty. Yeah, I think this was the one. So now we can start going the other way. Uh, yeah. And we're closing in on the chest, so we're, we're nearly done here. Probably like another 15, 20 minutes, I'd say. Yeah, I guess I got a bit lucky with the first time death worked. Yeah, the blink worked nicely for her there, that play. Just one of these guys by himself. Let's try and put him to sleep. Ah. That's annoying. Ah, the poison damage killed him. Wow. The poison's hitting pretty frequently. I'm impressed. It always seems to be Rykard that gets hit with the stop here. I don't think anyone else has been stopped at all in these uh, battles against the Golem. But yeah, even Rykard's starting to get closer to 2000 HP. So 2,000 above is a pretty healthy number. Yeah, if guy's got lots of MP, I should throw in a break a little more often. Yeah, there you go, 1,831 now. So this was the other one that, again, I thought was maybe a, a trap room, but the way it's been going, they've not been trap rooms. But these guys are weak. They're lower level. Yeah, even a single ultimate at 550 was enough. I don't know what they're doing here, honestly. The higher up you go, the weaker the variant of it you encounter. Again, a strange design. Ah, yeah. The healing star, the healing staff does work well against the undead. That's a nice bonus. Did big damage there. Yeah, 
We're moving things along until we get back on track. There we go. I was just about to say how close are we to a level 9 and my question was answered. There we go. Gotta see the level nine here. Okay. Yeah, of course they avoided them all. Now big damage. Yep. Collectively like a one thousand five hundred. Okay, buddy. Okay, those generals are definitely tough, man. Now, did I go the wrong way? No. Ah, shit. I think I went the wrong way. Wait. How do you get to the bit on the left here? Ah, it's another one of those things. I see. Damn, I think I might have missed the opportunity here. I didn't realize I thought there must be some kind of staircase leading up to it. Fine. So I think it's back to no encounters. And going back there, there must be a, a hidden path through to that corridor bit. Damn it. Yeah. can do that quickly. So I feel like this is one place, once we're done with it, we might not get a chance to come back. To pick up anything we missed. Hmm. I guess I was wrong. But then how do you... That's interesting. Maybe in here? No. Well, that's a strange one. Maybe I somehow drop into there from a higher floor? Or maybe that's where I began. I forgot. Honestly, I think... Actually, I think this might be where I began. Before I fell down. So I think we don't need to go to that room. I think that's what it is. Okay. Fine. But just wanted to definitely confirm there wasn't some kind of hidden pathway back to it. Now that I know that, we're good to continue. Right, here we go. Back to where we were. Let's resume. Come on, Ultima 9. Yeah, I think for even a chance of four digits, it's got to be level 10. Right, here we go. Getting close. Nice. 
Wow. What the hell? That's so rude. Honestly, in danger of dying here, so I'll do that. That's a bit better. I don't think he's going to hit for 900 again. It's not going to happen. Putting these guys to sleep generally seems to work quite well, so I'll keep doing it. Especially when you target it singularly, when you spread it out, it doesn't seem to work as well, of course. Nice. So. Two final chests there. I was just about to go into the menu to heal. Um... As long as we put the, the general to sleep, we should be okay. Even if our HP is a bit low. There we go. That's a good result. Okay, just me and you, buddy. Bye-bye. So we're going to grab the last... Oh, well. Do I want another diamond cuirass? Does anyone benefit from it? Yes. Every little helps. Unless... Hold on. Uh... Ah. No. I forgot about this. I'm going to switch back to this. Even if my defense drops a bit... I, I prefer the protection against uh, stone. Okay, it hits level 7. Let's use some of those ethers on him. Still feels weird using that many ethers, but yes. 4,909. Very nice. Okay, lots of generals. It's gonna, this is going to hurt. Good thing I healed before this battle. Well, we've got many to work before. No, we had a lucky streak with Mini, but it's, it's run out again. Wow. First time we've seen four digits coming in like that from an enemy. That's really impressive. If the generals appeared in like fours and sixes, then we'd start to have trouble. Yeah, sleep is, is consistent if you use it against only one of them. But Mini definitely more hit and miss. So we'll keep, keep him in sleep. He's too dangerous. Hellfire. Oh, 
wind boots. Interesting. Right, let's start moving towards the showdown here. Let's deal with these lame ladies first. Maybe we get lucky with death. Again, one of these states has got a hit. Just has to. Nope. Nope. And uh, no. Excellent. Yeah, that's what we get. It seems Rykard is the most susceptible. He's he's picking up a lot of slow and a lot of um, well confusion that type of thing. But let's be careful here. And then I can Osmos from the final one left. Nice. Let's use a Dispel. It's rare we actually get to use one in context. And then use a Blink of our own. That'll do. No effect. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, Dispel's not doing much of anything in this game so far. I would consider Blink a buff, and well, Dispel generally helps with debuffs, but... There we go, this guy goes over 5,000 HP. Almost there. I think we can finish these guys off like this. Wow, there you go, it hit the four digits, 1,153. Yeah, it's basically almost a factor of two in terms of damage variation. I've seen it hit like 450, and then I've seen it hit 1,150, so we've just got to live with that. That's almost a 3x, to be honest. But, yeah. It is what it is. Let's prepare here. Yeah, it's starting to heal a decent amount. If it had one more level, I think it'd be nice, but I think we'll make do with that. Um, yeah, I think we've got enough MP. Unless it's a weirdly like super marathon battle, which basically hasn't happened in this game. So I'm going to assume it's going to be fine. And we'll head towards the throne. Not without one final set of encounters. Ah, I used the healing staff again. That's fine. Three of them are doing positive damage, so... I'm not even going to go off of auto battle here. There's three enemies left. There it is, no damage. I expected you'd come, Firion. Do you really think you can kill me? Stop! Both of you! Why do you insist on fighting, Leon? Weak words from the weak. Do you know what rules the world? Power. Sheer power. The Imperial Throne is mine. The weak cannot survive without the strong to control them. How many lives did the rebels throw away when they chose to oppose the Empire? Well now. There we go. Something funky appeared. Delusions of grandeur do not become you, Leon. Though I find the thought of you as Emperor quite deliciously absurd, it ends now. This world can have but one emperor, and I am he.
You're alive? What are you? Not that it matters. The Empire is mine now, and I have no intention of handing it over. The Empire? Ha! <laughs> I've no need for such trifles now. All the world shall fall by my hand and the powers I gained in hell. And your blood will be the first to spill. Emperor does it very cool. Call the Wyvern! You can use it to escape! Rykard, what are you doing? You may have a little trouble spilling the blood of Rykard Highwind, last of the Dragoons. Pathetic insect. I will enjoy making you rue those words. May the spirits of the Dragoons lend me their strength. Rykard! Wow, he sacrificed himself. I guess Lila's coming back for the finale finale here. Wow. Woo! That looks cool. So I guess Leon survived the encounter. Maybe we get Leon for the finale, actually. Virion, what's happened? You... You're the Dark Knight. You'd best start explaining. The Emperor has risen from hell. Rykard. Rykard died so we could escape. Joseph, Minwu, Sid, Rykard. All dead. I don't know how much more I can take. As long as the Emperor lives, more will die. Leon. Princess. Let Leon join us, please. The Dark Knight? A rebel? I leave the decision to you. Leon, let's fight the Emperor together, please. Maria, Virion, all right. Leon join the party, wow. Hey, that's a very interesting, like, that aspect of this game is something I, I found pretty cool, like, to introduce the cast the way they did, and then for Firion to not Firion, for Leon to come back all this time later and join us as a Dark Knight, that's pretty dope. Now, the way that they handled the scene before, kind of, you know, he was like, "Oh, one thing exists is true power." He definitely sounded very kind of evil to me. But then I guess once again, the assumption is that the Emperor kind of used him maybe as like a puppet, as a placeholder until he truly returned to claim the throne. And so the true Leon is kind of uh, is back now, and we have nothing to fear from him. So uh, we'll see. Let's chat first. Sorry, Lila, I thought we were taking you with us for the finale. There, the Emperor sold his soul to the devil. But let's see if we get any new words here. Once the monsters of hell poured forth into the world, they entered using a path known as the Jade Passage. I've heard there is a place in my city known by that name. Interesting. Okay. The castle that appeared at the time of the Emperor's resurrection. It can only be Pandemonium, the fortress of the Lord of Hell. See, that's a cool final area. I like that. The myths and fairy tales of Kashuan speak of a small lake in Mycidia. It's said that those who enter the lake are taken to hell. Are you at least going to, like, take us there on the boat, maybe? There is a narrow strait to the east of Macidia. That whole area is the Jade Sea. Okay. Let's have a look here. Uh, narrow strait to the east of Mycidia. Yeah, it's, it's obviously got to be fine. Right, we'll have a look at all of that stuff soon. But what does Leon have? What's he equipped with? Flame, sword, poison, axe. Okay. Yeah, his evasion is 28%. Can we do better? Yeah, uh... I'd still rather give him this, honestly. I've been... Going the evasion route, and I think it's serving me pretty well. Yeah, I, th 
think I'd rather go with something like that. And what's his proficiency? Okay, it's sword and axe anyway. Fine, okay. We can roll with that. Um, yeah, once I go to Mycidia, I should probably buy some more magic tones. I've got a lot of money. Uh, I'll be able to teach him a few things. I feel like we need more characters with Scourge. It's a shame we lost a level 8 mini. That was working well for us. That's a bit of a shame. Um... But, I mean, we've got a bunch of slots, so might as well teach him some stuff. Uh, I think I'll teach him blind as well. Teach him berserk. Back to mini. Yeah, it's just a shame we have to kind of work it again. That's one of the downsides of this whole like way of designing the game. But fair enough, let's keep moving. We will not rest until peace has been restored. Now, I still have five chests here that I haven't got, right? That's annoying. I think at this stage I've got to look it up to make sure I haven't missed it. The risen soul of the Emperor must be destroyed. Pandemonium is a castle of illusion. Its form appears in our world, but the true castle is rooted in hell. I've heard stories of a lake that leads to the underworld, but they're only stories. Okay, let me have a check of this, um, this situation. Okay, so I did look this one up and it turns out there was yet another secret passageway. So I am currently here for anyone that's uh, following along and needs a reference. Basically, the secret passageway leads to a another secret passageway. So the one that, where you get um, the key term, this one. And then from the throne room, you can head into the secret passage. Then you come down to this bit, the first floor. And then you can do this, um, which allows you to get to somewhere else. It's all over. The world is ending. Okay, buddy. We've got chests to find. Now, this does get me three chests. It's more for the sake of completion at this stage, but I guess it turns out that I've forgotten two more. And those ones I could have gotten all along, probably without um, a hidden map. A hidden passage, sorry. So I will find those two. Might take me a little while. I have to edit through here. Okay, so here's another one. You slip through a passageway on the second floor. I guess I first saw this during a time when I wasn't aware of how the secret passages worked, but yeah, these are all just, like I say, for the sake of completion. So literally one more left now to show you guys, and then we can move on, I think. Yeah, it's on this, um, okay, it's on that side. I think I should be able to get to it from this floor as well. There we go. Okay, so this is the 27th and final chest. Now we're finally ready to move on. Let's go. Uh, 